James. Great name, James. Tamara, great. Isabel, Lewis, how are you all doing? Good. Thanks Good. for having us. Okay, Isabel and Lewis, I want to start with you because the chemistry between Maria and Rhett is obvious. Even in those early episodes, how much can you guys tell us about their history and how close they are really? Um, well, I'll start with that. Uh, Maria and Rhett know each other from way back then, you know, and they went to high school together. And Maria left her hometown, you know, for a little bit and because of, you know, life and circumstances outside her, you know, her control, she has to move back to town. And so kind of reconnects with Brett that way. And um, yeah, and I think the spark is immediate because I think maybe secretly they always wanted to be together. Yeah, yeah, well said. I think that um, it's, you know, one of those relationships that you, that never happened, it never was, but it was, but, but it was almost. And I think you spending so much time apart, they, you can tend to, one can tend to fantasize what could be. And it's one of those beautiful surprises that when they do reunite all those things that they, that they had spent all this time, you know, wondering what would, what, what would my life look like if we had ended up together were, you know, or seem to be true. And all of that, that, that ease of them seeing each other again is right there. And it's almost as if they never left each other's side. Beautiful surprise. I love that. That's such a good way to put it. Very well done. So Tamara, for you, Joy's got a lot working against her and she's got a lot of pressure on her early on in, in the show, but she doesn't seem to let it get to her. Do you feel like that's more like determination on her part, survival, or is that just who she is? I think she's got tough skin. I think, you know, she grew up in a, you know, she grew up on the rise. She went to police academy. I mean, there's, there's just certain life decisions that she met that she took that just kept on making probably an already tough young woman even tougher. Um, but she's, I, 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 I liked, I, I like to remember that she was thrown into it earlier than she might have chosen to be in that position because we see her as a, a, a deputy sheriff who is acting sheriff because her boss died and um that makes it even more interesting to me because uh you know she's she's even more unsure in her footing and yet her personality needs to kind of make make her more confident than she might um actually be no doubt about that lewis i want to ask you about the Abbott family really quickly, especially you know, the relationship with Perry. Talk about Rhett's relationship with his brother. How much do they really need each other, you think? Um, well, I think, you know, I don't know about you guys, but with my my brother, we kind of, we passed the hot potato between who's, the, who's each other's brother's keeper. You know what I mean? Um, it's never been with, with my brother in real life. It's never been just one or the other. We always kind of alternate. And I think it's that that way in a little bit where I think right now, when you first meet Perry and Rhett, we're stuck in this long period where it feels like maybe Rhett's had to had to kind of pick up some slack for Perry. And it's it's taken maybe more time than than he'd like. And he misses, you know, his old brother is is he Perry's in a bit of a fugue state, you know, and I I think um Rhett has been patient and has, uh, but is finding himself a little bit like just wanting to return to some sense of normalcy and wanting to have his brother back, you know? No doubt about that. And you all have such amazing stories and we'll get to see those start to play out when Out of Range premieres on Prime Video for the first two episodes on April the 15th. Tamara, Isabel, Lewis, thank you guys so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thanks. For